Hi guys, it's Annabelle. Today I will be doing Madison Beer's Vogue makeup look and here's the end result. I will get into the video very quickly but I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of Madison Beer. I'm a fan of her music. I love her makeup looks. I think she's absolutely beautiful and such an inspiration and I'm so excited to do this makeup look and or I'm happy I did this makeup look but I'm very excited to get into the video. Just so you know, I am not a makeup guru. I'm not a professional makeup artist at all. So please mind my mistakes as I go. But I really hope that you enjoy the video. Take a spoolie brush and you really get the soap in there. Just brush through your eyebrows. And again, I don't know if I did this right, but I really like the way that it looks. Now I have my hair back and ready to go. And at first she starts off with her eyebrows and I um, am using what she uses, which is like the brow soap. Okay, I'll take the spoolie, put it in there, and then I'm gonna just start brushing. I think she is, and then she just brushes through her eyebrows. I don't have as thick of eyebrows as she does, I don't love like the super fluffed up like just it doesn't look good on me sorry I I've been going through allergies for the past like week <laughs> and I've been losing my voice yeah I think that's okay I don't know <laughs> I'm just following what she does and then I'm gonna do the other eyebrow uh, I think she like does this first brings them up gosh <laughs> Madison, I love you, but I don't know if I like this on me. I know eyebrows, like, they're like sisters, they're not twins, so they're not supposed to look alike, but it doesn't, this brow doesn't look like the other one. <laughs> I'm not used to this. See, they look different, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. She does, I just don't have that much brow here, so I think that's just the best we're gonna get. Um, okay, starting off strong. Stop. So I didn't really wear any makeup. I actually 99 to be completely honest, 99% of my days I don't wear any makeup at all. I'm just too lazy to be frank. But when I'm in the mood and I have time to do like a full, full face, I will because I, I, like, I like doing makeup. Now she takes her concealer and puts it under her eyes. She like really pats it on under her eyes, which I need because I just have dark circles naturally under my eyes. I'm just gonna put a little concealer like on my cheeks too. Um, I'm kind of just using my concealer as like the face tint slash concealer, but now I take my beauty blender just like she did and she just pats it everywhere. Pat, 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 pat. I'm trying to not mess up the eyebrows that I perfectly got. <laughs> um, I am gonna fix the eyebrows that I so tried so hard on. Okay, she uses a cream contour. I don't have cream contour, so, but she was saying how she uses her cream bases first and then she does her powders, so I'm just gonna skip the contour cream for right now since I don't have it, and I'll put on bronzer when she does the powder favorite blush ever it's the charlotte tilbury cream blush i put a lot of this stuff on and people always ask me if there was one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life it would 100 percent be this i don't care if i had pimples and no concealer i would use blush no matter what and i know it looks like a lot just please bear with me i also completely blush up my nose like i'm a cartoon character it gives me happiness Okay, she uses the Charlotte Tilbury blush, which I have. Okay, she puts a lot on. Um, so we're gonna see how. And she puts some on her nose. It's a lot. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I love this blush so much. I think I put a lot more on this side, so I might need a. I just love this blush too because it gives such a sun-kissed look. 
she uses powder i don't have powder right now i promise i'm gonna do like a whole new um i'm gonna like buy new makeup soon so it's just makeup is expensive i would use it all the time and i'm just gonna go in lightly this is in the shade private island shout out to re for making the best makeup ever Now she is going on a bronzer. Um, she is she's using her Fenty Beauty, but I'm using my Hoola bronzer. And then I'm not going to use the brush that they gave me. I'm going to use this other brush. I'm gonna tap that in there, and I'm just gonna. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna use this. I'm just gonna like to help with like what she did with the uh, earlier bronzer I'm just gonna add a little more and then add up here so I am pale I might mess up my baby hairs while I do this it's okay okay now use this brush I'm just gonna go in there I know it looks like it doesn't look blended here but it is I just have a sharp much sharper cheekbone on this side than the other but uh, then I'm gonna do the top. Oh, this part always messes up my eyebrows. Always messes up my good work. Okay, I'm gonna fix my eyebrows real fast because that totally messed it up. That's how I want it. Okay, I just will get in there and I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit on either side of my nose and I will look very awkward and concentrated while I do so. And then I think it was Kim Kardashian I saw do this one time and it blew my mind. Okay, and then she does nose contour. Um, so I'm going to take, let me find the correct brush. And then I'm going to do exactly what she did and take a little bit here and then Slightly add. And then she does some on her, this part of the nose. Now I'm done with contour. I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm just gonna use a little thicker brush, a little thicker. And just, I think that's all blended in now. And you can never have too much blush in my world. So I just throw it on and I just make it as obnoxiously blushy as possible without looking too crazy. And now she puts on powder blush. She uses Fenty Beauty again, which I'm just going to use Pacifica. And I'm going to take my blush and put it on here. Also, sorry if I move out of frame. I'm just looking in the mirror right behind my camera. So I'm using this shade in my palette and I'm gonna use a little bit of this one as well. And I'm just mixing the two and I'm going just into the crease of my eyes right here. And I'm using, I go, I keep going back in with this lighter shade just to throw it in the corner of my eye in the middle. And then she uses her Morphe palette, which I also have. Okay, and then she goes in with a light shade. I believe she uses um, this shade right here. She takes it, just puts it on her lid. I love this Honestly palette so much just because it has like such pretty colors that are like natural looking, but you can also glam up if you want to. And the glitter ones are just perfect for any makeup look you wanna do. Um, I personally, use some of it for highlighter sometimes did i even put on highlighter i don't think she did highlighter yet okay and then she mixes this shade right here and this shade can you see yeah this shade and this shade i think she mixes them together she puts it in her crease i don't understand why she gets so much hate um because she is such a strong and inspirational person and through this like past year, I've absolutely just like have really gotten into her music. Um, and a lot of people like don't realize that she's an incredible like musician and artist. And and she truly she's gone through so much. 
<laughs> like with mental health and all that and coming from someone who also struggles with mental health like anxiety she's such an inspiration to me and so many other people that I don't she does not deserve the hate that she gets at all just no she's so good I can't wait till her new album comes out and I can't wait until she goes on tour because I really 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 want to see her but I'm in Arkansas so I doubt she'll tour here but if I ever get the chance and she's like in Chicago when I'm in Chicago I will definitely be going okay I think that looks good I honestly might use this makeup look for my formal look my sorority formal is next week next Friday and I will probably use it so I use this brush for my inner corner and that is it and this is what I do so I look I always try to look down or like center <laughs> sorry just had to delete like 300 photos and like 30 apps because i'm using so much storage on my phone um so sorry she uses here and she takes this um brush and she puts it like in the corners of her eyes this brush isn't as sharp though as the one she uses so i'm not sure i don't think i'll be able to get the perfect from what she does but i will try my best and then now she used the same color and put it underneath like her waterline so i got some in my eye so i may need to touch up on my concealer under my eyes because the brown came down it was a look and i will imagine if i had a really long eyelash coming out from here like where would it sit and what would it look like and so i see like a line in my head and then i just follow that so as she was saying she does like a like as if like a long eyelash was here again this brush is not as sharp as like i'd want it to be but it does the job you just have to have a technique to it and able to fix it if you're able to oh i really need to touch up on the concealer highlighter my cream highlighter which is the charlotte tilbury highlighter wand and i just do like two little dots right there and i love highlighter i feel like it just makes me feel like i'm a forest nymph and a fairy and like who doesn't want to feel like a fairy and then she does highlighter um which is the Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighter, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna also use this Pacific one and I don't really have a highlighter brush, but again, this one does the job of how I want it to. Okay, and then I touched up a little bit on the concealer under my eyes. I can't really take these. I need to find a way to get rid of my bags other than sleep because I'm a full-time college student and although sleep is very important i stay up late and do my homework so and she was saying she doubles up on highlighter and again she uses another liquid highlighter i don't have liquid highlighter so i'm using just another highlighter that i have i think it's from target this one adds a much more glowy it gets the job done and then i added it to my other side with my mascara it's called the lash slick by glossier and it makes my eyelashes look like eyelash extensions it just fills them out so much and then under mascara she uses the lash slick of glossier which i'm going to be using this is also one of my favorite mascaras i've been using it for the past year and it is, seriously makes a difference i'm gonna apply I just want to show you, look at the difference. I'm not wearing any mascara, and I am wearing mascara. And this is only one coat. <laughs> like, now I'm going on to the other eye. No mascaras on both eyes, and I'm not good at not getting it on my eyelid, and I've been trying to take it off, but... Anyways, now I'm going to my highlighter. And I use this color right here, which I made sure that I would 
have something that I could use in my inner corner in this palette. And so I throw this into the inner corner. Um, I don't do it too much, just a little bit, just enough to get by. Then for highlighter in the inner corner, she uses oops, this color right here. And she just takes that and puts it in the inner corner of her eye. And then because she has a much darker um, waterline, I'm just gonna add some mascara on the bottom of my eyes. This is my favorite lip liner because it matches my lip tone and I can get away with overlining my lips a lot and it doesn't really show. And already you can see this is where my lip is and I go below it. We're gonna move on to her famous lips. Um, I have lip liner. She says she outlines like the shit of her <laughs> lips. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. I don't have super thick lips, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so, whoops. Okay. Look, she really overlines them. Um, okay. This lip gloss I found from TikTok. This is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. It's so nice. And I really like to get that Cupid's bow. I put it on like my lip liner on my skin, but I once you put lip gloss on top of that, it looks like your lip. Then she uses the Ulta Beauty um, Juice Infused Lip Oil. I've obviously used a lot of it, so it's also wonderful and I will just be taking it and going over but they I think they look good but my finishing touch final step of my makeup daily routine is my hoops this part of her routine are her gold hoops she said that this really finishes the touch of the look and I agree with her. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna let my hair down. Ugh. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is the end result of the makeup look. I, I'm gonna need to use this more often. Madison Beer's obviously onto something because this look is so just pretty, but not, it's like pretty to like the natural tone. It's not too much makeup. It's the perfect, just, it brightens up. It just brightens up your face. It really does. So. I don't have my hairbrush on me, but I also got my hair done um, like last week, two weeks ago. Got a little darker. You should absolutely try this makeup routine if you would like. And yes, so thank you for watching.